<laughs> Hi everyone. Hey, have you ever gone across the lake, turned your head, and lost that yes, very perfect pair of glasses? Have you ever been fishing with your good buddy and uh, he uh, says, uh, put him on top of your hat. You put him up on top of your hat, you turn your head and you lose that perfect pair of glasses. What happens? Well, they sink. <laughs> Most of them go right to the bottom like a rock. With me right now is a gentleman that's going to put an end to that. Ken Bauman's with me right now with Kind Eyewear. Ken, welcome to the show. Thank you, Bob. Glad to be here. So tell us a little bit about Kind Eyewear. Where does it come from? How did it originate? Tell us about the product, because it's unique. It's not like other glasses. Um, yeah, the, uh, the company was founded in 2012 in San Diego, California, by a couple of college roommates. And I purchased the company from them in 2019. And uh, they, uh, they, they had a mission to buy a sustainable product, which bamboo is sustainable. And they, they bought the bought the product, bought the brand, got it all started up, and then again in 2019, they offered the company up, and I already owned a pair of uh, what you were just wearing, the Eclipses, and I, I came home complaining to my wife every now and then, saying I can't believe this company's going under, and then bada bing, bada boom, I was in <laughs> negotiations, and uh, yeah, and now I'm the owner. Awesome. Hey, with that being said, yeah, yes, I'm back to my other one, so I can at least see what I'm doing here right now. You've got, your lenses are pretty unique, too. What Talk, talk to us about the lenses, the type of lens that's in it, because all of us as fishermen, we're critical about what we're looking into the water with. Right, yep, they are, they are UV400 Revo lenses, polarized, of course, and uh, yeah, they cut right through the, right through the glare and through the, through the top layer of the water and can see what's down below. For sure. When you say UV 400, that's the that's the amount of value of protection that's coming. It, it's the amount of diminished light, I'll say. Right. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah. That's correct. Yeah. That's correct. So that so that makes so. it work. So the UV 400, how does that stack up to some of these two and three hundred dollar pair of glasses that are out there? Because folks, I'm about to tell you, I'm, I'm about to tell you what these glasses cost, and it's going to blow your mind. Because we are buying two and three hundred dollar pair of glasses out there. That being the case, talk to us a little bit about that. The uh, yeah. So again, as Bob just mentioned, as you just mentioned, the uh, the the Revo UV four hundred Revo lenses, the four hundred. The higher the number, the better the quality lens. So how high can that number go? I believe the highest number is uh, six hundred. So 600, so you are you guys are right there at the top of that scale, to be honest with you. All right, folks, like I said, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the pricing, all right? Everything you're about to see today is going to be under $100, under $100. Now, let me take these off again because I have to be able to see. This pair that I just put on to do the intro of the show, folks, <laughs> they weigh less than a goose feather. It's amazing how light these are. And I've noticed when I put them on that I have plenty of berth around the glasses, so I'm not going to get a fogging situation. They cover low, they're tight to the face, a perfect fit. Absolutely. Now, what was this model, Ken? That is the, uh, those are the Eclipses. That's the Eclipse. So how many models do you have? We have uh, five different styles, five different models. So the, the, the ones I just picked up here are? The, the, uh... Those are also eclipses, but those oh, these are, are eclipses, eclipses too. Eclipses, yep, those are eclipses with the uh, ice blue lens. I was going to say this is a lens. this is a different color lens. When you put it on, you can see the difference in it. You've got the blue front on it, but the color of the lens itself. This is an amber lens, whereas this is a gray lens. So you have both of them. Am I correct there? Yep. Okay. That is correct. Yeah. Good. All right. You've got these two. Let's take a look at the next set because I'm going to go through these glasses so I can put back on the ones I can see on. Now these. I don't know if I can fish in these. Somebody, <laughs> if somebody saw me walk in with these on, they would, uh, they'd go crazy. How about this, guys? How about this? Take a look at these, huh? How you like that? Look at the color on these things. Your lenses are incredibly clear. Right. Right. I, I am, I am so blind. It's unbelievable. But I can tell you right now, I can see through these lenses. It's amazing. It really and lightweight. My God, what are they made of? They're, they're made of bamboo. They're yep. made of bamboo. 
So bamboo being that resource you said that is uh, replenishing itself right. on a day in and day out basis, and bamboo doesn't come from the United States. Um, there are a few places to get it. I know down in Honduras bamboo grows, but really it comes from the Middle East or Asia, not yep. Middle East, but right. Asia. Yep. Yeah. So this is where your product is coming from as well that in terms of correct. raw product? Yes, yes, yes. And the glasses that I'm about to put on right now, here I'm going to put them on for you folks. Um, this is what style I've got on now? Now you have uh, the OGs. OGs. Yeah. Now this is a bigger This is a bigger area yep. on these glasses there's, there's, than the other one. Yep. And I, quite frankly, I like this better than the ones I had here. I yep. like this. Those are more square shaped. The, uh, those are the, the previous pair were called Rastas. Yeah, these those are, are multi -color. sweet. Um, another thing too, you're, you're, everybody has a lot of issues with hinges. What's going on? Your hinges are unique. Right, yep, they're spring-loaded hinges. So Wow. And, but they're not spring-loaded in such a manner that they're going to crush the back, back of your no, head they're, either. No, they're not. They're very comfortable. But I noticed that if you, if you were to catch them on something, you're not going to bend and break them. Right. All right, that being said, do you happen to you know, and I say they're feather light because they are, do you happen to know what they weigh? I do not know, honestly. God, right. I'm telling you, man, you, you can put them on a scale of grams and it, it would blow your mind. I'm really comfortable in these glasses right now. Super. They are kind eyewear, folks, and they are kind to you. I'm going back to what I can see because I want to show you something that's really unique. Every pair of kind eyewear that you purchase comes with one of these. This is sweet. This is a hinge that swings around. It's magnetic. On the inside of it has some neat, I don't know if it's upside down or what, but it has some neat writing. I'm gonna show you an image here in a minute. But all the magnets are built in. Now, I'm just guessing, but what's this made out of? That's bamboo as well. That's what I thought. <laughs> so he's staying consistent in his product with the magnets on it. This is cool. I. Every one of them come with this. That's correct. Yep. It's really cool. And the bottom comes off. You got a pliers. I mean, a screwdriver. It's and a look at this, folks. A mirror. <laughs> a mirror built into the bottom of it. And you've got a you've got a tool to tighten up the hinge areas if need be. You guys have thought of everything. Ah, that is very very cool. I'm going to show you their booth while we're at the show here, folks, because. Their booth is really quite impressive when you go over and look at it. And this is the this is the shot that Ken and Casey took while we were out, or while they were out. This is the shot that shows the case that they come in and a couple of, 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 of uh, samples of the glasses and that beautiful carved lid that comes with it. I don't know, what does that lid say? It's, uh, it's our mission. It's, a, it's about the... Uh, the Saying sustain, sustainable, the uh, sustainable mission, because bamboo is a is a grass, and it uh, it so it's, it decomposes real well if the glasses were to ever become part of part of the earth again. So if you're doing a portage or something, for instance, and you drop your glasses and you can't find them somehow or something to that effect. They, they're going to break down. Just the uh, just the lenses wouldn't because the lenses again are the lenses again are plastic. So. I find your opening statement very interesting. Kind Eyewear was founded in 2012 with the idea of being humankind. We are humankind. Can and should live as sustainable lifestyle. You guys really are conscientious about the environment, right? Yeah. Holy smokes. Yeah. And, and most of us are as fishermen that are on waters and stuff. We care about the water that we're fishing on. And you know, as much as you're correct, I honestly don't think that they are to this degree. Yeah. This is this is really sweet. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. I'm impressed by the quality that I'm looking at. I'm impressed by the weight of the glasses for sure. And the clarity of the lenses, even though my focus is kind of wackoed. When you put the lenses on, you can see they're very clear. This is the one I think that I like the most. I'm not sure, but nope, that's, uh, yep, this is it. This is the one I like the most right here. I wear a smoked lens a lot more than I do an amber lens. God, and it's, man, they are so light. Folks, you're not gonna believe this, I'm serious. If you get an opportunity at a sports show, to stop in and see Ken and take a look at his kind eyewear. I suggest that you do it, especially if you've been, well, 
if you've been persuaded to spend two and three hundred dollars for a pair of sunglasses just think about this for a second you if you're spending two hundred dollars for your glasses and your significant other wife or girlfriend doesn't have a pair guess what don't buy that 200 buy a hundred and buy two pair she's got a pair you got a pair everybody's happy you guys have got an incredible product here Ken I'm very impressed I really am thank you Bob we're gonna put up your your website here um, so people know how to get a hold of you in addition to that is there a phone number that people can reach you at uh, there's not a phone number but there's definitely an email address which is just kind and kind is spelled KY as you've seen Bob um, as you've seen on the, the packaging and whatnot um, the uh, the kind is spelled K-Y-N-D, so it's kind eyewear, but the email address is kind at kindeyewear.com. And we've got that. that we've got that up on the screen, so you folks can take a look at that. Now, remember what I said in the opening of this when we started, folks? Have you ever, ever lost a pair of glasses? Have you ever had the situation where they went into the lake and you couldn't get them back? Well, take a look at that. They're sitting there in a tank full of water. If they come off your head for any reason, they're, they're, you're picking them up. If you want to have your son, your daughter, a child out there with you, and you want them to see into the water like you do, but you were afraid to put that two or $300 pair of sunglasses on them because you knew if they made a mistake they were going to the bottom, guess what? Now you can put that pair of sunglasses on there that cost half of that. Put them on there, let the kids play. If they drop them in the water, Take your net, pick them up, or just run over and pick, bend them over and pick them up. That is so cool. I, I'm, I'm impressed. I really am. Kind Air where I wear, folks. Sustainable bamboo. They float. They are very cost effective. These guys are on a mission to make sure that they save the planet or help to save the planet. They're on a mission to make sure that everybody has a quality product in their hands and on their face when it's time to go look into that water for that secret bass bed or that follow musky that we all talk about. Ken, I want to say thanks for coming on the show. I hope you enjoyed it. I am very impressed with your product. Great. Thank you so much, Bob. Thanks for having me. It's no been doubt a pleasure, for sure. No doubt about that. Folks, we have more interviews coming up. Don't go anywhere. Watch all the interviews we've shot here at the show. I think you'll find out that these sports shows are where you get the information. It's where you can hands-on. You get to talk to the manufacturers. You get to talk to the reps. You get to talk to the pros. Sports shows are the place to do it. You can't do it on the Internet. You can't go on the Internet and, and drill through stuff as effectively as you can here. Folks, we got another announcement on top of us. With that being said, we're going to say goodbye. We'll see you in the next interview. Bye-bye.